Hi, I'm Chris Dernan with VisualDesignsByChris.com. I'm going to show you today how to quickly create outlines with your text in Illustrator. What you can do is uh, click on your, this is your type tool, and draw a bounding box. This is not like a program like Word or any other program where you just click and you can only um, put your information in a certain row. You can create a bounding box here of any size you want and type it. A bounding box is this blue line. So what we're going to do is type in your text. I'm just going to use my website address and I'm going to change the size. Did you see I'm on the text tool right here? So this means that this, this smart bar here has changed. So I can change my font to whatever I want. I can change my uh, the style of the font and I can change the size. I'm just going to make it bigger. So now what you can do is you can do click off of this. This is our this is still in text format and you can usually tell because these are here and because it's such a huge box. So this is in text format. So which means I can come in, click on the text tool, click here and change anything I want. But I want to add a drop shadow. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on here. So I have the box click with the selected tool, not the type tool. Select a tool because you're selecting the bounding box. You're not selecting the type. You're collecting. You're selecting what's within it. And you're going to do type, create outlines. So now each of these letters, this letter is no longer font. You won't need a type for this file any longer because I have nothing else in here that is a text. These are all images now. So it becomes grouped together. So you can do object, ungroup, and you can individually move these in any format that you wish. Also, you can take your select tool, draw your marquee around it, and you can do effect, stylize, drop shadow. Hit preview, and you can see where the drop shadow is going, you can change your opacity, your offset, the blur is the blur of the grid. And there you go. Each letter individually in this manner has its own uh, drop shadow. However, if we undo these move and we undo a drop shadow, if we group this image, and add a drop shadow under stylize. This drop shadow is all one piece. So that means that when you move this around, this is automatically hooked to it. If you select this and do object ungroup, it'll lose your drop shadow because it was the drop shadow was for the entire group of letters. So again, you click your type tool, create your bounding box, type your letters. Now hit your select tool, not your type tool. You want to select your box and you're going to change your type to outlines. Holding down the shift key will keep your letters proportion. Letting go of the shift key, which is backwards for most digital cutoff software, letting go, you can move it in any proportion that you wish. I hope that helps and you have a great afternoon. Enjoy.